Hello Napoleonic Fanatics, we are back once again with another NTW3 4v4 fuse here today and we do have an absolutely bloody battle. Uh, you might be able to tell from the uh, from the title of today's video uh, that yeah there is like uh, over 12k casualties, close to 13k uh, actually doing all the counts for the end result. Um, but yeah, an insane amount of uh, death in this one and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes down who's gonna win will it be the coalition or will it be the imperials i think there's already a bit of a fighting going on right now actually uh, down here yeah there's a square down here micheletts uh it's formed square again this looks like some some cossacks um i think that's the um, russian player here um or a russian player uh but not on the coalition side that's for sure just to complicate things a little more um but yeah we do have a 4v4 as i was saying uh, we have uh, 1812 here, we have uh, Russia, 1809, Spain, we have um, Osterreich, uh, like 1799, so it's like the um, Austrian-Russia sort of like combo army that you can get. Uh, I can already see a whole bunch of uh, grenadiers here. They kind of dress like Pavlos grenadiers, but they're not Pavlos grenadiers, sadly. Uh, and then we're all the way over here we have another Austria, we have 1805 Austria, the one that got slapped up during um, Austerlitz. Um, and there you go, first casualty of the battle uh, is that Cossack, I think. He just stood uh, on top of the square and basically got shot to pieces. Uh, on the opposing side, we do have um, two non-French um, armies as well. We do have... Uh, um, we have the sort of like the seven, uh, the eight-point Russia, which is um, and what I've seen brought quite a lot recently uh, by some players. And then we also have the uh, seven-point uh, po uh, Polska, which is like the um, the Poland slash like uh, sort of like Confederation of the Rhine sort of like army. And then we have uh, Russia center and we have uh, France, Spain as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure where exactly they are, but we have yeah 1809 uh, France, Spain. So that's the 10 point, and we have the 11 point Russia center as well. So some big point French armies, that's for sure, which is good to see. Um, but yes, uh, it'll be good to see how this one goes down um, because. I've been told it's a, a, a forest battle, so I'm expecting a big fight here in this forest, a forest brawl. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more sort of forest brawls, more massive bloody battles like this one, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new to sort of all things NTW3, uh, or just the channel generally, there's a whole bunch of uh, NTW3 battles on this channel. I do a fair amount of it. And every Monday, we have a stream as well. Um, uh, for uh, those that want to join and get involved in some uh, some live battles. And uh, we have got some uh, Svoidny, Svoidny uh, Hussars, which I think Svoidny is like, I don't know, isn't it like Polish or, uh, not Polish, sorry, isn't it like Svoidny mean like, like, sort of like Finnish or something like that? I might be wrong. I don't know why I think po Polish, but isn't it like Finnish? I might be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, Svoid there's a lot of Svoidny, Svoidny Grenadiers, Svoidny Hussars. It might be provisional, it might just mean might be something, not, nothing to do with the nation, but I thought it might have done for some reason. Yeager moving forward here as well. Russia having to fight Russia in today's game. A sad day for uh, all those that are, uh, you know, all those brothers and fathers fighting each other. Sons. It looks like a big cav force being uh, mounted here. It looks like they're going to go in early doors here. Yeah, we've got Italian Dragoons. Uh, looks like a, a whole bunch of French ones. This I imagine is Russia center. He's just going all in. He's just, yeah, they're not slowing down. Uh, this Yeager that moved forward as well that we just saw. Calm form square. That's a brave Cossack to go in and try and break up that cavalry charge. It's going to lose, but it's going to, you know, slow down the French. And that's all it can do, really. And there you go, that Cossack. It's actually still holding for now. They're going to get the Yeager into the building just about. That is impressive. And yeah, then we go in the Spanish with their um, like heavy cab here, the, the Bourbon cab. And then more Dragoons coming in. It looks like yeah, they're trying to get the Hussars. They failed to get them. And actually the um, Skirmish is there helping to route that, that cavalry there for the French. And it um, looks like... Uh, yeah, I think they routed the, the little Cossack. But then the infantry in this house actually helped help route some more French. France is going in again here with more uh, cavalry. Looks like a hussar of some sort. That's uh, uh, been routed uh, by the um, 
by the Hussars. But they did give the Strelke. It's not a great return, really, for France there. And, yeah, Spain still fighting here against uh, France with some Dragoons. But they are probably going to get rid of those Chasseurs Cheval, I'd imagine. Oh, they're just going to leave themselves. And that's a huge amount of French cab that was lost early doors. Some of it probably will return. Some big cab units here that probably, yeah, will return. But they won't be the same for the second time round. And actually, yeah, Russian they routed its own uh, Spanish ally there, and it, somehow Spain's going to get its cab out of there, extract that out. France is actually on the retreat here, as you can see. Lots of Italian and Polish grenadiers here, so looks like yeah, uh, it looks like a bit of a melee build going on from that France player. And uh, what we've got over here, yeah, looks like young guard as well. Yeah, these are like they look like young guardsmen. So yeah, I imagine that's uh, the se uh, Russia center again, setting up over here, and we've got. Forces over here as well. France, I don't know what they're doing so wide. I mean, it's just a couple of units. There might be a whole army out here, I guess. Uh, the other... Um, yeah, I imagine the, yeah, the other 10 points are probably out here. And this is probably a good thing. You need to start swinging in, though. Um, because Russia is very much uh, ready to go set up. Unless he's trying to flank around the side. Maybe trying to stretch Russia, which might be uh, the, the option here. And here goes another charge from the Cossacks. Going in against... Some of their Russian uh, brethren, there's a Russian skirmisher there getting routed. Lots of infantry here, I don't know if they can form square, and they need to be careful these Russians so they don't shoot the back of their own troops. Yeah, this is like Poland, Russia, sort of like a weird sort of blend. I, I can't remember, I think it's like 1808 um, or something like Is this? Is this like era of this um, 1807, 1808? Is the era of this sort of, uh, this core, this army? It's like when Russia is allied with Alexander. By like Alexander, um, I, I'm in a Poland, but Alexander doesn't actually commit any Russian troops against like Austria in like the uh, Polish invasion of uh, Austria. And then this other uh, Russia, I'm pretty sure date is like um, 1804, maybe something, maybe even slightly earlier than that, 1802, 18, uh, something like that. Um, it's like when Tsar Paul is uh, the second is uh, allied with Napoleon as well, and they like have great aspirations to invade India together um, and like invade Persia as well if you didn't know about that that is actually a, a valid treaty that was like formed up and I think was signed they had like allied to like invade Persia and uh, and then also um, and then also uh, India I think they maybe got the Ottomans on board as well or they were just gonna invade the Ottoman Empire I can't remember one or the other um, but yeah, it's this crazy treaty. And then in the end, I think Tsar Paul gets murdered um, and Alexander comes to the throne. So uh, it all falls to pieces with uh, the death of, uh, of Paul, really. By the way, there is a Cossack way in the back here for 1812 Russia. Um, that is obviously just patiently waiting for an, op uh, an opportunity to go in for a general. Uh, but it's waiting way, way back, which is a smart thing to do. Wait until a lot more of this cab's committed and there's no cab left. And then swing in with that one Cossack. But yes, if you ever want to get involved in any sort of um, NTW3 battles yourself uh, or send in your own replays, do join my Discord link is down below in the description. It's the best place to go to get involved. Uh, this one was sent in by a sub. Uh, one of the uh, players that is a part of like, the Peeps uh, Discord. One of the uh, the Discords that get most of my replays and uh, most of the people that uh, play my, uh, my, my games uh, come from. And they said it was a really good one. <laughs> and usually the Peeps uh, like replays are high quality. And uh, yeah, really, really good. I'm expecting no less as the Hungarian line infantry give us a glorious volley there. And yeah, 1805 looks like he's to be matching up against. Take, I think he's taking on two armies here at the moment. But um, the other Austria player is arriving, 1799, which is like I said, it's Austria, Russia. Really, there's a lot of Russians in today's game. Um, but yes, yeah, so it looks like they're going to be taking on the two sort of like Russia armies here. Um, usually this Polska like army usually plays like full cab. I've seen it more recently as just being full cab, not bothering to bring infantry because their infantry is, yeah, not to be desired. There's a lot of like Saxons and like some Poles. Um, yeah, actually, funnily enough, I think the most expensive infantry you could bring. Uh, but yeah, it's not a very desirable infantry uh, force, that's for sure. Um, actually, a cab uh, for France here being routed as Russia gets cab uh, onto the flanks from Lans. Um, so yeah, they're actually kind of stretching the the French there. We've got some more Hussars here as well. Yeah, lots of uh, Ulans. Looks like a lot of light cav here, just 
uh, and Lancers that are just trying to get around the flanks and stretching the friendship. Um, this looks like actually, oh, that's a Carabineer. This might be Russia Center then actually, and the other one might be, um, um, so it might be um, the Spanish campaign because R Russia Center can bring the uh, Carabineers. And they are by far and away one of the best looking units in the game. They look really, really good. I do like the look of these guys. They are beautiful. My One of my favorite heavy cav units, I think, in the game. Sorry, I've been busy admiring them, and there has been charges going on. Um, looks like some uh, Jaeger Corps just being routed. They're trying to go after guns, uh, and this uh, little Cossack here might get them. You know, the guns are unlimbering these expanders, and I think the gun and carriages, they might be actually okay, you know. I think the guns are just un unwavered. I don't know whether the gun carriages stay there. Um, but we've got the stakes set up now, so it's going to be tough for any sort of further cab charges. Yeah, there you go. They were unlimbering with those guns. They actually were just fine. I think it's a little bug. If you get charged by cab and you're unlimbering, you just kind of just shrug it off. Polish cab, uh, or some sort of cab in behind. We'll call it Polish cab. It might not be. In behind. It's actually a Russian one. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, there's another um, little cab fight that's been taking place. Looks like some Hussars lost a fight here. Um, and there is some other cavalry over there, and then you can see the Hussar, oh sorry, Curassia, sorry, a big Curassia, you know, that's just been sent out to the flank, that's not really where it needs to be, it needs to be in the center. You see France is now in a, happily fighting in a long, long, uh, musket fight. Don't know if, it, I mean, they've got the shooting capabilities as the Spanish campaign, they can shoot pretty well. I don't know if he, with these units, whether he has got the right capabilities, he might do. The Italians can shoot reasonably well but Spain definitely could probably shoot better they have probably bigger mass as well than France they could probably just slog it out and they're in a tree line they're in a better position generally than this uh, than this French player here he's got a lot of cab as well stacked up behind he's ready for another cab charge um, stuff on the front lines generally can't form square but also it's a head-on charge it will be a costly one for the cab that's already seen uh, action and be pretty bloodied up On the other hand, the two Russia players here have their own tree line and uh, kind of have the advantage over the Austrians, I guess, with that sort of with terrain at least. Maybe not with shooting capabilities uh, or numbers either. Russia, I, this, certainly this Russia army here is very much a melee army. Uh, I've seen it only used as melee. Uh, I don't think he can shoot. Really? Oh, I've also just seen, sorry, I need a slow mo for a minute. I've just seen some of the helm. Uh, like, what is going on with these, like, shackos? Never seen that before. I don't know if that's just for this unit. It might be, or whether it's bugged. I think it's the the uh, the uh this unit's bugged with its shackos, actually, just looking at some of them. I've just never seen that before. Okay, a very odd unit. Might need to sort that out. Um, that is very, very good. It looks like it's an armored shako. Maybe it is. They're just, you know, keeping on with their, so, like, uh, trying to keep the medieval sort of vibe going. Even though we're way past that period. It's like several centuries ago, but they've got their armored helmet going into battle. Looks very silly. But yeah, it looks like they are going to go into melee here. So Russia is just yeah, not slowing down. And uh, yeah, these um, line infantry here probably can't melee as well. These Russians can. But they are getting some shots off. Uh, they need to get another good volley here. A decisive volley. And hit. Yeah, Russia. This is just asking you. Here he goes. He's starting the charge. Didn't take too bad a volley either. And here he goes. Bayonets twirling. Uh, that one was pretty deadly. Actually got a good side shot there. Did Ferdinand uh, with his good, uh, grenadiers into the side there. And that one's orange lining. But they, both sides kind of, you know, struggling. They're red lining, I think, because they're routing Russians there. But they have routed the Austrians. They got through that first line. Nice. Here comes another wave of Russians. A good volley there. Last minute into these Russians. Of course, it's the red line, though. They kind of soak it up. Uh, the Polska sort of player here is sort of defending the flank with some Jaeger. And yeah, more Russians getting in. There are also some Russians here. I guess they can melee okay. We'll see. Russia has now been thrown back a little bit. 1799 sort of stabilizing where 1805 has uh, fallen short. And yeah, more Russians over here. Is he going to try and charge along this entire line? It might not work. He need, He's kind of run out of... He's run out of men already on this sort of charge here. That was... Kind of a bit of a throwaway in the end, because if he stacked up more troops and carried on the push through here, he might have got it. Or cav supporting. 
But yeah, Russia, yeah, looks like with the cavalry here as well being routed uh, by guns and by infantry. Polska set up some infantry, uh, some cavalry to support in the push and broke as well. And all that you get and all his line infantry broke there as well. I hope that Russia has more men. It looks like this might be his last throw of the die. Looks like he's going in here. Yeager going in. You're going to see a counter charge, I think. Well, actually, sorry, yeah, we've got more cav charging in here. Some um, Cossacks here look like they're routing more Pulse with cav. Here comes Russia's cavalry. He's going in. Should get these Cossacks. It looks like pretty decent dragoons. All in white uh, mounts is usually a good sign of good cavalry. Uh, the Jaeger here broke. This one might break through against the uh, against the line infantry. Then they might get the Hungarians here. And yeah, actually, this seems like he's got a lot more troops here. It might have even more than he did on the left. But yeah, uh, you can see Austria and um, in 1799, uh, Austria is sort of breaking through. Uh, the Cav here has also managed to get into the artillery and also into the Cossacks and routed a whole bunch of them. This is looking like a much better option here for this Russia play. He's managed to break this flank here of 1805. Uh, Poland is also in behind with some cavalry. And he needs to get this cav in behind, really. Like, he's got a good Polish lancer, big Polish lancer units as well. Get those in behind now. Start doing some threats to uh, the Austrians. Try and support his Russia, his Russia push. General has died already. Uh, oh, they got... Well, I don't know which one that is. Maybe 1805? Yeah, it might be 1805's uh, general. I think 1799 might still have his alive. Yeah, I can see it still, actually. It's still there. Yeah, so Alexander Zuvrov's lead in the way there. But 1805 is pretty much out of the game, I think, at this point already. Without a general, he can't do much more than that. Whether he's going to get his infantry inside, he's got some Hungarian grenadiers. Yeah, big unit, actually. And yeah, they're in the building, but a lot of them are outside of it as well. It's a 150-man unit of uh, Grenadiers, and that is pretty brutal. Uh, in the center, we've now got a big brawl going on here as well. France has now started his assault. Oh, we've got the Grognards, I think, actually. We have got the guards here. Did they look like? Yeah, they definitely are Grognards. And looks like more like Grenadiers, stuff like that, getting routed, pushed back by Spain here. Spain is fimming. Uh, I don't know if he means to. Oh yeah, we've got the um, like the Dutch Grenadiers, which is, these guys are part of the guard as well, that middle guard. Seems like, yeah, a lot of guards have been today's game. They are fimming like hell. Oh, that's rough to see. They're getting side charged now by Polish Grenadiers. Absolute. Uh, but that's just as I think for the fims. Russia is setting up a second line. Uh, Spain is also sort of formed up a second line. And it's getting messy here. That's for sure. Uh, 1799 needs to get some of his forces back. Don't know what he's doing here. We've got light dragoons going in. Don't know what they're going in for. Oh, the uh, Italian dragoons have got through. They were retreating. And they've just been routed anyway. Uh, don't know whether, I think, potentially, this army over here, which I think is Russia center. He's got so many guardsmen. Has shifted back to the middle. Or at least shifted a lot of his forces there originally. And the Carabineers are setting up here as well. You can tell it's the Carabineers. It's just a mass of cab. It's a huge unit. Got cavalry here as well, waiting for the French raid to go in. Yeah, a lot of lot of guards for today's uh, game, actually. Young and middle and the old. Grenadiers here for Russia. 1799, holding back all of the Frenchies. Looks like a sapper unit here fighting against them. That's a decent uh, unit. They're getting back charged though by Spanish Cav. Might ride the ru Mount ru uh, that might route the Russians. And there you go. They finally get rid of that uh, middle guard like Dutch uh, Grenadier. Uh, more Cav going in here. Don't know what they're going for. Just Grenzes. They might get that one. And I think they did. I think they got the Grenzes. Yeah, very nice. Uh, behind them, though, is Light Dragoons. Might not get those, though. Uh, Poland here could uh, actually start his assault with infantry. I think even with these, like, three, four units here, he could probably swamp this small little flank, support the cab. Uh, yeah, he definitely is a forest brawl. You could say that this fight. My gosh. Uh, skirmish there about to run into Grenzen. I don't think they're meaning to, but they, uh, I guess, players probably just do not know where things are. It's a very confusing uh, battleground to fight in. Well, these are, like, middle guards. 
uh, they're going forward. We've got, still got the old guard in here, but yeah, bloody fight uh, for this build, uh, for this sort of like LOC in this forest. Still, yeah, a lot of guardsmen around. Spain and Russia are forming up at their new front line. Looks like it's got a lot of like, uh, well, just serfs as a mass in this one. Russia does have some like line infantry as well, and uh, yeah, a lot of like Spoidney, uh Spoidney Grenadiers, which I think it must be provisional. I think it must. Be. I think it is 27 E Division Spoidney. I think it's um, you can bring a lot of them. I think that's because they're provisional. Uh, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of grenadiers actually over here. Look at this. Yeah, these are all grenadiers. These ones back to line infantry, and then we've got yeah some volunteers from Valencia there for Spain. Uh, France, yeah, has but won that sir, weary, first forest sir. fight. Whether they're going to continue, um, whether they're just going to try and re re rally, I don't know. But the cav charge coming in here, that little stinky uh, um, Cossack earlier is going to get a general here. It's going to get, I think it might be Russia centers as well. And there you go. That's Russia Center's general. Yeah, dead. And G, as always, uh, can't defend his general. And actually, there's a second one dead as well. Uh, Templar Salzburg. I think that's um, Spanish campaign as well. So they have two generals stood on top of each other. That is, that is rough. That is rough. Um, so yeah, that is unfortunate. France now uh, low on morale. Um, but... You know, they're not out. They're not out yet. The other two uh, players are going to have to support hard. Like, Russia here needs to finish off 1805. He needs to, just, you know, put the final nail in the coffin. Polska here needs to maybe try and threaten the flank a little bit, try and assist his uh, French ally. Uh, we've got some guards here routing by Grenadiers and also looks like some um, oh, guardsmen of the uh, Royal Guard of Spain. Yeah, that's uh, no surprise they lost that one there. And in go the, uh, the Grenadiers is going to carry on into the Italians. On their own. They might route, you know, red lining. And men routing through them. They might break through this. But Russia should continue. Bring forward more men. And he is. Yeah, here come the Grenadiers. They're going to just keep this up. Uh, this could be costly here. Surf's going in as well. And yeah, there's a lot of French routing down here. I mean, even if they're guardsmen, without generals, it's going to affect them. And yeah, every French uh, unit is pretty much leaderless. Uh, they have no generals. Uh, they are going to need to regroup, play defensive, and just pray. But yeah, look at this. I, I mean, the forest as well. It's not a great place to uh, try and fight if you have no general. Uh, and especially when there's Russians in the forest. Forest is speaking Russian and Spanish right now. Two of the feared languages of uh, Napoleonic France, that's for sure. Polska over here still looks like he's he's got some some forces. Uh, he's got some cav here. I mean, most importantly, I think he has, did have cav in behind. I don't know if it still is. No, it looks like it might have all been routed at this point uh, by other fights. Looks like Spain and um, Spain certainly has been doing some sort of rear guard sir, action here, I keeping them clear. Oh, nope, there is, I think, a Polska peril, here. Yeah, a, a very healthy Polish uh, cav unit. That needs to be hunting for generals as well. Hunt for Russia's general, probably, and maybe Spain's general. I'd say the most important to try and take out here. Uh, but I imagine they're well protected. Uh, they probably don't want to fall for the same uh, trap that uh, the French players did. Spain seems to have a lot of troops just scattered around here, whether these are just returning ones or whether these are sort of looking at rearguard, or whether his micros has failed him, I don't know. France is sort of regathering here. I mean, it's not over for France. they still got the heavies here, which can, you know, even without a general, can cause all sorts of problems. They've got, um, I was going to say, they've got guards, but these are Vedenberg troops. They have got guards, though, uh, like these uh, Dutch Grenadiers. Either they've returned or it's another one. They've got all, um, young guards, but I wouldn't trust them much. Uh, they are pretty much like, like, li uh, like line infantry, just with good shooting stats, typically. Got a lot of line infantry here, but again, I wouldn't trust in that. Get the artillery up. France's artillery is very much on the edge of the battle now. Um, it's been shooting uh, some Russian artillery and some Spanish infantry, but not a lot. If they could get the artillery to the center, get it canistering, trying to... I mean, that might throw back the Russians. Uh, we've got just some... Yeah, it's just very much just skirmisher alley over here. And we've still got more artillery, actually. Yeah, France has huge batteries here, um, which, yeah, they might be 
doing some damage to the 12 pounders here. Looks like they are trying to counter battery each other. But maybe it'd be more useful to have them in the center with the infantry fights taking place here. Because the Imperials are very much on the defense now. There you go. I think this is Poniatowski here. Trying to rally what remains of his uh, Polish army. And Russia seems to have re rallied a lot of his troops. He still seems to have a healthy force here. If he can go for another melee again, I mean, he probably can here. This, If he keeps stacking his forces to the right, if Austria doesn't turn his line, he could definitely get a good charge here. Um, looks like this Poland player here is just trying to take the take the Spanish on a on a good old jolly here. Uh, he should have got a good charge on them. He probably could have rowed them. I also haven't seen the Curacia for um, for Austria. I don't know where it's gone to. Whether it has been committed and just got killed, I don't know. It might have been lost for all I know. There's been chaos everywhere. We're, we're bound to miss something. I think we might have missed the Curacia's getting killed killed off somewhere. Yeah, he sort of turned his line a little bit. These Hungarian Grenadiers can form square as well, which is good. He's still got... Yeah, it looks like a lot of the Grenadiers left. Well, two certainly here on this left flank. They're big units. Um, and yeah, you got a lot of Hungarian lines here. They're still alive. Some of them can form square. And the Poles got out of there. The uh, Spanish gave up the chase. Good to see. Good to see. Looks like we're going to see a cab charge here in a moment. There's a uh, saw that's moving forward and the Russians are going to maybe change tact they're going to actually try and attack the uh, the Polish player the French are now in the open ground so I guess the line of fire that you you get like coming straight at them is pretty deadly but if you go against the Poles here in this little area of the forest and they can then flank the French and the French need to be aware of that surely and um, that this is a weak spot and yeah here we go Spanish volunteers taking the taking the flak we've got grenadiers of Spain and um, looks like um, line infantry is actually going to be the Grenadiers of Spain to lead the way. Line infantry of Russia is not going to be going in just yet. And there you go, Grenadiers going in. They should probably route that. Yeah, that Polish should be easily enough. Uh, and the Polish volunteers, uh, sorry, the Spanish volunteers route more uh, artillery. Then go the Grenadiers. Can the Spanish route there? We'll see. But they, they're losing slightly, apparently. Can they get side shots for to try and win that for their side? The Aguerre, yeah, seems like it's been a good fight. The uh, Spanish have uh, actually won their fight and they broke through, but they're now getting rewarded by Goons. They need to be careful with the Finn, and they didn't because they got routed. And uh, yeah, maybe they're going to get thrown back here. Uh, yeah, it looks like, you know, Poland's actually sending in some Saxons by the looks of it. It looks like he's throwing back those volunteers. Militia here also looks like a good route. There's a lot of militia and volunteers here. Could turn into a mass route here in a moment for Spain if he's not careful. Russia, on the other hand, is again pushing forward here against 1805 Austria. We'll keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, um, the Hussars here tried to break through. Looks like they got some skirms and that was it for uh, 1812 Russia. More Grenadiers coming forward here. And yeah, look at the line infantry of Russia also counter charging here. Throwing back the Poles. It's back and forth, back and forth from there. Still got more Grenadiers as well for 1799. So yeah, they've still got plenty of melee power through the coalition. The Swiss just thrown aside there. Uh, Russia needs to make something happen here and he is now meleeing. This Russia needs to break through. He needs to destroy this, uh, this Austria player and quick. I mean, they set up a second line, which is really good to see. Once his first line broke, he should get a volley up there, route that, uh, that Russian unit there. But he is losing a lot of his grenadiers, like his real uh, expensive units. And Russia is just generally on the advance here. And you can see 1799 is having to shift across to help now. So that's good, at least. You know, Russia is drawing more and more forces away. France still fighting in this, uh, in this forest. It's hard to see who is winning and who's got what in here. We've got... Uh, the Dutch Grenadiers in there, we've got, looks like, Russian line infantry for Poland in there. And also 799 uh, Russian Grenadiers throwing in. It is a messy old fight in there. It's hard to see what is going on. We've got uh, Musketeers as well going in over here. They're going to side charge, actually, some Russians of Polska. 
And they're going to route them pretty easily. So, like I said, so many Russians dying in today's game. A bad day to be a Russian. A bad day to be a French, French general as well. And there you go, France going in again. And Russia sending in the Ulans as well, trying to force back the French here. France has uh, formed square in a few places. They lost the building. I think that's because Russia's occupied that one there. And Russia is still throwing in a lot of troops here against uh, 1805. With no general, they are in a bit of danger. I mean, Russia's general, though, is... I oh, know it's not Russia's general. It's just the Dragoons. I thought it was their general. And he's still got a huge Dragoon unit. He's unveiled this. Look at this size of this unit. This has got to be a big and very elite unit here, I'd imagine. Well, it's a very big unit. It's definitely an elite unit, is what I'm meaning. Throw that in. That could turn the. That could turn around the uh, the fate of uh, the the Imperials. You never know. And the Polish Lancer in behind. Now I could get some great rear charges into uh, all these Hungarians here. Route these boys. Yeah, very nice. You need to go for a uh, 1799 general. Go for Suvorov. Route him. Finish off uh, 1799, and that is going to put the coalition in a bit of uh, danger. Russia is sort of thin on the ground. France is holding on, but again has no general. So it's it's a matter of time until he breaks as well. The uh, Cossacks here, I think, trying to go for the guns. They might get them. There's infantry kind of embedded in them, though. They need to be careful of that. It's technically a rule break. But yeah, this Russia player needs to get a move on. He needs to just roll up the remains of 1799. Uh, Polska here as well, supporting, doing a great job. Just keep charging these units. They can't form square. Suvorov here trying to be protected by line infantry. There's no hope of protecting him. There's not enough squares that open to protect him. And the huge cab unit is welcoming in. Stopped by a tiny little square of Ferdinand here. That's hilarious. He actually is breaking square to uh, try and retreat. And he's going to get himself killed. Again, the, the, the Lancers just need to keep harassing Spain, sending forces over here to try and save the situation. Grenadiers, we've got volunteers. This, this one can still form square, this Grenadier here, which is good to see. And you can see Suvorov is just gradually falling back. He's done a pretty well-ordered retreat. Russia just needs to keep moving forward. His infantry is too, being too slow. He's trying to just use the cab, trying to get in there, trying to get that general. He may get him now. And kind of maybe went around, kind of tried to pull through that Grenadier to try and get that, uh, uh, that Suvorov there. And you can see the Cav here is probably going to break down. It's redlining. They're going to get shot from multiple different angles. Why isn't Russia moving forward his infantry? Save your insanely huge Dragoon unit. Uh, and also the Lancers should get in. Lancers need to take advantage. They're, they're just farming at this point. They should be farming. Uh, and yeah, Russia is breaking through. Russia has got through. Uh, France over here. And Polska, they're just... It's just fully finished now. I think Russia's just got a uh, Hussar unit here. Oh, no, this is the, um, the heavies. He's making sure they're staying gone, I guess. Oh, we didn't see them get committed, but that's a shame. It's a shame. This is the last hope, really, for the Imperials, is this Russia charge here. And Polska as well, I guess. They're going to at least try and take down 1799 with them. I guess that's their aim. They got a. Uh, he got that little uh, line infantry there, the Polska. He's not going to probably get much more than that. It's red lining already. The uh, dragoon is still very much alive. It's acting very much like a, a heavy cab at this point. It's insanely good. Suvorov still survives for now. The cab probably shouldn't continue. It's probably exhausted at this point. But it's, I guess needed for melee fights, maybe. Spain's actually getting troops in behind now. His victorious Spanish troops are now able to turn and uh, deal with his Russian force. Russia is stacked on the right, but his left is starting to uh, fade. Uh, Suvorov here, I guess. <laughs> He's actually the last thing holding on that left side there out of everything else routed. Uh, and yeah, France has still got like a few units here, but I don't know if it's enough to really change uh, any sort of outcome. There is some guardsmen here. These are like middle guard, I'm pretty sure. They might be young. They look more like middle. They should route that, I was going to say. Um, it looks like also we got skirms here as well for France. I think this will be a pest. I think Russia 1812 still has enough around and a general, more importantly, to cause a problem. Um, 
uh, to be like you know a major threat. Spain also still has his general, I believe, um, and it still has a lot of forces. This Russia player still has his uh, you know general as well, and has a bit of an army and a very formidable cav unit. I don't think he has enough to uh, change the outcome of the battle. France is rallying a little bit in the forest here. I mean, they can tr they can try and pick off some of these uh, eighteen twelve units, I guess. It'll be the n now, like kind of stretched out everywhere, Russia. You can maybe win a few of these fights. These Russians must be yeah, pretty they're fresh. But they're pretty battered up. But this grenadier here, I think, just soaked up the entire volley. Did not take a hit. Like, uh, there you go. Lost troops on the road. Grenades retreat. Actually, lost quite a lot. It might route there. Red lining. France is re rallying a little bit, yeah, in this. Uh, this general retreat here, some of his forces are returning. Don't know if it's enough, like I said, to make a difference, though. Um, though they have won that little fight here. You can see the Strelke has just been uh, brushed aside. You kind of expected no less. Middle guard here kind of farming a little bit, but yeah, making sure the guys, these guys stay gone. If they can go for LOCs at this point, that is probably what they need to do. Um, France does hold this one point over here. Uh, I think Spain still holds this one. Yeah, the Spanish troops in there. So Spain holds that LOC. That's a one on one v one right now. I don't know if anyone else holds any other LOCs at this point. Whether someone's going to go for a four point, I don't know. I mean, that would be uh, that would be probably the aim. I would I hope that someone's rushing. I mean, yeah, good to see the poles are keeping this cav here. And if anything, that's stopping maybe a coalition going for a four point. There's actually a French unit here. Going all the way for the four point as well. So this might be the play now. It's the win by LOC. If they can do that, then that might be uh, how they try and win this game. I'm going to make a quick cut now because I think the battle is slowly dying, dying down. France doesn't have the capability to obviously make an offensive, having been routed once and lost a general. And it doesn't look like the coalition are really in any mood either to make it offensive. So I'll make a quick cut here, guys, and I'll see you in a moment uh, when the next bit of action really begins. And as soon as I uh, pretty much ended that, the French actually sent in troops to try and take this LOC. So they've gone in here to try and claim the building from the volunteers. I think it's just a skirmish just going in. It's nothing like actually, you know... That's going to be able to melee. But yeah, they've gone in here to try and storm this building. And they, I guess they didn't realize that the volunteer, like infantry, well, I don't know if it's volunteers, but the Spanish infantry was in there. What is it? Yeah, volunteers are volunteer. It is actually a volunteer unit. So uh, yeah, I imagine the skirmishers are going to lose this fight. But yeah, an interesting move, that's for sure, nonetheless. Um, French still do have a huge artillery battery here as well. Whether they can use that to sort of, you know, pepper down the coalition, I don't know. But yeah, immediately the yeah, the Spanish and the French clashing. And I think that's really all that's going on. Russia, I think, is go is really turning to deal with what remains of France. They really want to just keep France dead and buried. I don't think anyone's really that bothered about this Russia player over here. I imagine his calves pretty freshened up again. And it still looks pretty healthy, it's a big cab unit. Um, they still hold this building here to rush. I don't know if they have anything actually in it. Uh, maybe not, but they technically do hold it. They hold at one point. They might have just taken stuff out. Now, Poland's general still alive as well, which is good, I guess, for the sake of that. I was going to say, it's for the sake of that Polish cav, but is it still alive? It is, yeah. I just saw another one routing and I thought, oh, they seriously just set it in and got it routed. So they still have their Polish cav here, which is good to see. And, yeah, the melee for that building failed and I don't think France is trying anything else just yet so again I'll make another cut I don't think anything else is going on I thought maybe this was going to be the spark of something larger but it hasn't been it looks like France maybe actually might have sent in a, a garden as well along with the bond uh, over those skirmishes to try and take that building um, but it all failed in the end so yeah I'll return I say I return uh, shortly, but maybe I won't because it looks like there's going to be a, a melee here. Polish cab going in. And Russian cab as well joining the fight. And it's going to try and wrap more of 1805. Somehow is still in this fight. 
He's had a rough game as AC05 out on that left, kind of left to his own devices. The other three players kind of all um, work together uh, in that forest. And then, yeah, 1805 kind of got left out on the limb. 1799 sort of helped a little bit, but uh, yeah, this Russia player has just had a fun day just yeah, mopping up this, uh, this Austrian army. And there you go, that's finally thing 1805 out of the game. LOC wise, it is now 4 5 1, I believe. Uh, France does hold this. France really should also send something all the way back to this LOC. I mean, someone might re-rally back here and then should just send it straight into the building. Like, like to be honest, just send, I don't know, one of these tiny little line infantry units. It's not going to do anything other. Or send a skirmisher back there. Like, at this point, send the skirms back. Like this, uh, this unit here. Just get that all the way back to, uh, to the LOC. Then it's like 8... I actually might have something there already. I think someone's just re-rallied. Yeah. Yeah, they got skirms here. They got skirms going into the building. So they have something in there. So it's now like, yeah, eight to eight, this nine to one. This building has fallen to the enemy. Because, the, yeah, the French are in here. The Russians are having to try and claim it. Some Strelke. And, yeah, that's huge. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, France is going to go for the LOC victory because it really can't win it in a head-on, like, sort of, like, fist fight. And it can't. It's got no generals. It's got very little of an army. Well, Spain and Russia, 1812 anyway, have uh, very much got armies and generals left. Spain has. It's just doing a parade through this forest. I don't really know what he's aimed to do. Whether he thinks this is a significant amount of French in here. There's about three or four units, I think, that re-rallied over here. Not a lot to stop... Uh, to really bother the Spanish army. Maybe Spain's shifting to deal with his Russian threat over here, which if he is, it's fair enough. I think Russia, this player here, is just going to keep his one point safe. But yeah, right now, the coalition just kind of... Yeah, not really got a lot going on. So again, I'm going to make a cut. It does seem like, yeah, both sides don't really know what to do. Coalition hasn't made a decision on what LOC to go for. And France is just kind of waiting for them to make a move. So I'll see you guys in a second. And here we go. So, uh, yeah, the shots are being fired once again. Spain has decided to actually just deal with what remains of the uh, French force here. Um, and uh, there is actually a bit more than I thought. There's about five units here. Um, but again, I don't think they're going to do too much. No generals. Um, it's not really a lot that can can hope to achieve here. And Spain's going to outshoot them. And even if they try to go into melee, I think they probably wouldn't stand a chance. I don't know why we have silent muskets, um, but we do. Um, but I can, I can do all the noises for you. Pew, pew, pew. Um, but yes, the French, uh, yeah, they're just, they're getting forced back. I think that's, no, that one hasn't routed. None of them are routed. The orange lining, though, uh, and we've got Royal Guard here for Spain. They're about to go in. Uh, yeah, no one's going to be stopping that. The Royal Guard of Spain here going in. And then in they go. Routes that French unit. Easy peasy. What else is over here? We've still got, like, some sort of guards in here. Or at least I think it's Guardsman. It might not be. It might be something else. But it's not very ornate helmet, which suggests it is. Uh, but they're going to get beaten by the true Guardsman. The Royal Guard of Spain. And they're uh, yeah, going to go in. The Russians over here look like they are trying to come over to assist, though, this French player. I don't know if I'd really bother this. I think all the French players at this point are a lost cause. Russia just needs to do his own thing. Do his own jam. Whether he's trying to get back to... Uh, trying to get to that one point... Uh, to contest that, I don't know. Spain might go and occupy it, but he shouldn't send his whole army. He needs to take some four-pointers. What he needs to do. Uh, and also this artillery. I don't know what it's blasting. It's blasting into a forest. It's going to be tough to hit anything in there. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, France again, just kind of, kind of getting thrown back. Uh, there's not really a lot that, uh, that they could do. Like I said, there's not really... Anything that's uh, optional. I don't know where that Dragoon's gone, but I presume it's gone and hidden itself in this forest. It's probably by the general here. We just can't see it. Yeah, Russia's just not got the mass. It's got, he's got one really incredible cav unit, which is still pretty big and probably still pretty incredible. But I don't think he's going to be able to do much more than that. I think Russia attempted to take this building as well. I f do believe the French are still in here. Yeah, that, mm, yeah, I'd say the French are still in there looking at that um, we can't see them because we're looking from a coalition perspective. So yeah, France, I think, is still in this building. Um, also, the Polish generals is chilling here for some reason. I uh, don't know why exactly, but he is. I don't also know where the Polish cav is. 
I don't know if it's routed or whether it's um, hidden. More than likely, it's probably just hidden, I think. I can't see any recently, like, Polish uh, units that are routing nearby. Uh, again, I'm going to make a, uh, a cut. I don't really see much happening at the moment. I think it could just come down to LOC. Um, for some bizarre reason, Spain is kind of just turtling up a little bit. And all this turtling up and slowing of stuff, that slowing things down, is kind of working for the French and their allies. Because they're not going for any LOCs at the moment. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. So, not much of an update, but I thought I'd just let you know that the Polish general has also died. Um, so, he is, uh, well, no longer, he had no army left, I don't think, either. He might still have that, that Polish cab might still be alive, I do not know at this point. Uh, it could be long gone and hit him, but he did try to charge in his, uh, his general there to try and, I guess, stop the line from, here from storming this four point. That's what they're worried about. Uh, Spain, by the way, has also occupied the one point over here. So, Spain's up to, I think, two... Uh, he's up to, on to two points, and he's still got to get to nine. Uh, it's, it's compete with the nine there. France is in a fighting retreat, as you can see here. It's being chased by the Russians. Not much they can do, really, about this. Uh, France is just trying to get back to the to their building, I guess, trying to defend that a little bit better. Um, it's, it's just skirmishes in there. But yeah, these Vedenberg and French infantry there aren't going to do too much. We've got some Vedenberg skirms here. They're probably going to get uh, slapped up. The artillery, though, you know, by the house, might be able to make a bit of a stand. You never know. Um, these small French assets uh, could always be a real pain. You just never know. Um, uh, Russia also looks like he's going for the four point. He's going to try and defend that. Uh, France over here has managed to extract one infantry unit. I don't know if there is still Russians in this building, but if it isn't, the French unit can get in here and at least be a bit of a pain for the Spanish who are chasing it down. So Spain trying to aim for another one point here. Um, if Russia can take that building there, that four point, then uh, it will turn to... Um, in favor of the coalition for LOC victory. Um, yeah, I mean, I imagine Spain's going to take this one, so it, they will probably be up to three. They're currently at two. Like I said, they hold the two sort of like center points, um, but they don't actually hold any of the other ones at the moment. And we'll see whether France can get into this one. I imagine they can. Don't think there's any... Uh, you know, I mean, they would have started shooting by now. France, uh, Spain's definitely in range. They get in there, boys. Get into the building. Do what you can. There you go, the front French going in. <laughs> you feel sorry for those like five guys who've got to stay outside. Yeah, there's six like set. There's brave set seven men. Just got to stay there and just uh, hold on. And yeah, there you go. France actually um, has been caught with uh, most of his units here, and he's been routed. That's the Vedenbergs and those Frenchies gone. Uh, he still does have the artillery and the skirms and what looked like a guard unit as well, still alive. Still got an infantry. I think there's another one as well. There's another infantry. But the uh, artillery battery could be quite useful. You never know. Um, but I think it could quite easily get swum by all the Russians. So I imagine Russia's going to take that four point. But you never, you just don't know. Houses cause all sorts of weird things to happen. Royal Guard here kind of struggling. It's red linings. The militia might cause the Royal Guard to rout. Uh, the French, yep. Yeah, and there you go. The militia forced out of the building by the French. And the Royal Guard going to go in. I think there's brave, like, few guys going to get in now. Yeah, get in. Kill them all, boys. Kill them all. So, there you go. And France, I think. Uh, yeah, combat losing is the Royal Guard here. I, th I think they get the chance to now go fully in. Let's see whether they can take it. Like I said, houses are a pain to take in uh, NTW3. Royal Guard redlining as he goes into the building. Will be interesting to see whether it uh, can actually win this fight. It's still redlining, you know, losing slightly. I, everything would say no. Everything's saying no right now. It has gone down to orange. If it gets to green, yeah, it might be okay. Yeah, 88. I don't know how many Frenches are, Frenches are still in there. Yeah, I think maybe it's got it now. I think the Royal Guard might have it now. I think they have their chance, the French, to win it. Well, not that there's really much of a chance. You can't really do anything. You're just pr hoping and praying. And there you go. The French are orange lining now. And I imagine that they go to take this building. And that will then put them up to three points here. Maybe not. Combat even, yeah. That's a good sign. Combat, I'm winning slightly, yeah. The Spanish have probably got that one, I would say. Russia on this side, has he started his assault? He has not yet. Uh, he is... 
still trying to deal with these like mishmash of French units that still stand. A little volley there. Can't imagine you actually hit anything apart from Frenchmen. Artillery here is also trying to uh, form up. They're going to start blasting. And just blast. Oh my gosh, just mowed down their own Frenchmen. Oh my gosh. That's what you get for a treat in your cowards. Oh my gosh, I don't think they're actually hitting a single Russian there. Just mowed down so many French, uh, French and Vedderberg troops. That's what they get. It's their reward. Uh, yeah, Russia coming in on the flank here. Still got those uh, grenadiers. Uh, they did route them, though. You know, fair enough. They did actually do some damage to uh, morale. Or enough of it, anyway. And the uh, Russians are losing that fight currently. At the moment. Uh, it looks like they're also trying to bombard the building. Or at least someone is. Maybe trying to do some damage to the garrison. Might also do damage to their own troops. Russia should hold on to this one for now. Um... Yeah, France is slowly being bled out of that one. Uh, but the Royal Guard, they're still losing slightly, but they are redlining of the French. And morale matters more in this game than anything else. And I think that must be the Spanish winning there. Oh no, the Russians won theirs first before the Spanish. Uh, that's kind of hilarious. So there you go. And so now uh, they've captured a building. Yeah, there you go. They've uh, There you go. They've got multiple buildings. So I think that's now... Yeah. Coalition now in fate uh, have more LSE points. They now have a massive seven. Uh, no, uh, eight actually. They do have eight. Eight to four. And I imagine that Russia is probably just going to just entrench itself around this. France has now got the the job of trying to take this back. I think actually France is just bombarding the building. So it's probably him responsible yeah, for this damage being done. And France doesn't really have the means, I don't think, to storm it. This like, whether it's guard, whether it's not, whatever this unit is, is probably the best, most likely, with melee attack. I don't know. There's a lot of grenadiers here. And we have a general close by, Bagration, who's pretty close by. So they, he might also just get, uh, you know, thrown in just to help with morale or just to, um, just to sort of help with, um, sort of, I don't know, defense. I get, you probably don't want him in there, really, because uh, if you get shot uh, and killed, then that's, that's devastating for him. Russia here, actually... Uh, in a bit of a line fight with France as well. And it's going to get routed. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, line fight with Spain. Not France. And he got routed. Uh, tree line here, though, for Russia could work. It should just defend this building. Defend the building. Wait for Spain to storm it. Uh, and then just, like, have your men in the forest here near it. And then when, when Spain tries to storm it, you just storm the Spanish. But yeah, we're just going to... I think we're just going to fast forward. We're just waiting for LOC victories, really, at this point. So, we're just going to fast forward. The uh, French here are just going to bombard the farmhouse and just try and like, weaken it as much as possible. They're getting their guys into uh, line, a long line, which is the right thing to do. And then they're going to try and st uh, storm it, I imagine, when they can. The Russians are actually investing more and more grenadiers into this building. They have so many units in there. And there you go. I think they're getting shot out of the French even before they get into melee. And we do have a cav over here. Russia has actually managed to get his cav here. Is he going for Bagration? If he does, then, you know, you never know. France might be able to uh, to win this. He's, he's orange lining for some reason. Whether it's army losses. Um, but yeah, I think he's going to try and charge the line infantry. Bagration, I think, has been dismounted. And I think he's trying to get in there. Uh, the building has been damaged as well to 50%. And I think Bagration, yeah, is now getting into the building. Uh, so he's safe from any sort of cav shenanigans. And there's, yeah, a whole bunch of grenadiers and Bagration in there. I mean, it could level it and just try and capture all the other stuff. Or just keep shooting it and hope that you maybe kill Bagration. I don't know. I mean, if you also charge in and melee, you might route... Um, might route him or kill him. You just never know. Uh, and then over on this side here, Spain, yeah, playing the slow game as well. This building is already on 60%. Uh, it's not being blasted anymore. The Russians' infantry, I don't know where they're really going with that. They're just kind of giving up on the spot, maybe. They, they are getting outshot. You expect no less. Um, I don't think this Russia player has lost his general, so I don't know where he is. But I think maybe army losses must be coming into play, which is why his men are really suffering. Uh, we're about to see Yeager go in. Uh, the French have been cleared of the building. But Yeager in here, I think, it could the coalition take all of the buildings before the game's over? We'll see. Spain foolishly melee and got uh, beaten there. 
And yeah, it's, don't know what really is left. I mean, France is, yeah, trying to besiege out the Russians there. He's got his cab, you know, for Russia, just, you know, I guess trying to get this line infantry. They're in a forest, so it's going to be tough. And then once you charge the unit, it's going to have support from the building. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, really, this game, I think, could have gone massively differently. I think the French had a good chance of winning. If the two generals hadn't died, that was really a game-defining moment, I think. Um, and whether Russia maybe could have pressed on a little harder, I don't know, onto the uh, 1799, maybe turn their flank a little bit more. I don't know. It's hard to say. It really is. But yeah, France losing the two generals is really a game-defining moment. It really is. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to see an LOC uh, win here in some way or another. I don't think we're going to see um, Russia getting fully wiped out. That's for sure. It's going to be um, the coalition winning one way or another. And there you go. Uh, Russia still holds the building, actually. He's still in there. He's knocked out multiple French units. Yes. Um, with the Russians still holding on to that one, and the Russians of 1812 holding on to this one. Building, oh, oh maybe not. Maybe not. I think the uh, I think this uh, Russia has actually just given up, and that's all of the LOCs now in coalition hands. So yeah, it, the Russia uh, Russian player is going to have to, I don't know, just go down the road, try and join up with the French here, and give itself a chance, but there's no time left. And there you go. The end results should hopefully appear on your screen, so you can check those out. Um, yeah, a rare LOC victory. It's technically a draw, but uh, in the rules of NTW3, if you have more LOC points, you win the game. So yeah, coalition victory today. Um, and this is from a coalition perspective that we checked out this battle. I think we're looking from a Don's perspective. Um, oh, I can't remember. Is Piper sent it in? But I don't know if Piper was playing as the Spanish. I would not be remembered, to be honest, off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, if we're looking from the Spanish perspective, whoever was playing them, if it is uh, Piper or Don, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we've got the Royal Guards here with 151 kills uh, for them. That is a very, very good result. Uh, and then we've got 120 kills here with the Grenadiers uh, of uh, like the Galicia with 120 kills there. Vol uh, volunteers of Valencia, 101 and 96 kills with the Grenadiers Provincials as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. I think this is from Piper's perspective, if I remember correctly. Um, usually Don plays as uh, the Spanish uh, nine points, so I usually expect it's just to be him, but I don't think he's actually in this game either. Um, so there you go, guys. That is today's NTW3 battle. If you did enjoy and want to see more glorious uh, Napoleonic battles, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.